you're gonna to wanna to see this. 100% AI generated music video. Lyrics, voices, visuals. Take a look and I'll tell you how it was made at the end. It's me and R2 on the scene. Gonna rule the galaxy. Gold gang, gold gang. You made me a million on the crypto. Gold gang, gold gang. Then it went steady with the sick flow. Gold gang, gang, gang. Bullets bang, bang, bang. Gold gang, gang, gang. It's C3. C3. Who's the coldest one in the galaxy? Even the dark side could never handle me. I'll tell a Sith Lord that he can have a seat and party with my girls in Tatooine. I'm a robot, I don't need batteries. Still set through Anakin Fatter P. As I move from planet to planet, I do what I want. No troopers capture me. I'm an old droid with that new swagger. Make the ladies scream like Chewie. I can send me. Vader or Palpatine. Not us, then I don't know who's madder. I might be the maddest one in the galaxy. And if Anakin saw me now, I'm sure he'd be mad at me. Gold gang, gold gang, maybe a million on the crypto. Gold gang, gold gang, then it went silly with the sick flow. Gold gang, 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 bullets, bang, bang, bang. Gold gang, 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 it's C3. I'm terribly sorry about all this. Oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I done? I blew up in the beat like a Death Star, feel like the one. Feel like the one. Artificial intelligence, but I got dumb, but I got dumb. I tell a web three Wookiee he's grounded, make him my son, make him my child. To galactic OG, yes, I got the game on cruise. on cruise. I turn NFTs into GLDs, you know that the boy can't lose. Can't lose. Sideboards with some villainies, that's me and my boy R2. I'll keep it real to the death of me till I get a system reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Droid life, droid life, droid life, yes, droid life, droid life. Mmm. All right, so first and foremost, let's give credit where credit is due. This was made by Daniel Eckler, Eckler by design. He made that using 100% AI and he posted it on Twitter slash X originally. As you might imagine, that video kind of blew up. As I'm looking at now, 2.3 million views. I asked if I can showcase this on my YouTube channel. He said, for sure, I'll send him over a link as soon as this video is posted. AI Safety Beams is impressed. Mark my words, we will convert him yet. Droid Life. So I'll link to his original videos. I'll link to his profile in the description and a pinned comment. I, as you can probably tell, cut out portions of the video because I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. I mean, we're obviously stepping into some uncharted waters here. He has current modern day celebrities that are, you know, hot right now that are on the various screens and social medias right now. You have Lucas Arts, Disney. I mean, you have a lot of stuff going on there. I've posted a portion of it on my channel after asking the creator if I could do so, so that I could comment on it. That I believe is the formula, right? That's the protocol is you put your face on there if you're reacting to something. And the reason I wanted to show you clips of it and kind of react to it is because I wanted you to understand where AI music is at, where AI footage and visuals are at. So let's take a look at how this was created. Basically, you type in the perfect prompt into ChatGPT. I want to make a rap video about C-3PO being a gangster rapper full of blings. And ChatGPT instantly produces the entire video for you. All done. Well, not quite. They used 28 tools. And this is what I wanted to dig into because very often I actually find myself using multiple AI tools to create the thing that I'm trying to do. Some are great at producing the original images, kind of bringing that idea, that thought to life. Some are really good at making it move. Some are good at upscaling. Eleven Labs and stuff like that is excellent for voices. Some specifically are good for lip syncing to, you know, making that image, the mouth and lips move to the voice. So he's saying he used 28 tools and I got to say, I believe it. So step one, crank out AI content. Using Midjourney, Midjourney is one of my favorite image generators. It tends to produce incredible stuff. I like a lot of the stuff that they tend to produce. So at some point, it randomly spat out a C-3PO on a throne. This uh, incredible image, right? And of course, they had to have more. By the way, definitely follow this guy on Twitter slash X if you're on there, because something tells me we haven't seen the last of him. I think uh, there's going to be some pretty incredible things that he's going to be developing. Wow. So the next step is we test out the voices. We try out C-3PO mo uh, voice models, use different rappers. 
So Kits AI are AI vocals for the modern producer. So I'm not familiar with this, but it sounds like they're able to do those types of vocals. Looks like you're able to train voices instantly with just a YouTube video link. Then they looked for inspiration from various rappers on YouTube. Now, me personally, I'm not really into this particular style of music, but you know, I've listened to some of the old school rap growing up and uh, certainly can appreciate some of it, although it's not necessarily what I would put on. Then, then we're writing lyrics. We get hundreds of lyrics from ChatGPT narrowed down to the best. Looks like they use Notion, so it's kind of a note-taking app. I mean, it's a lot more for the people that love it and use it, but it's a way to take notes, organize information, etc. And next we get to Suno AI. I knew it. There's something about Suno AI, and I've been meaning to do a video about this. I've talked about it briefly on Twitter. There's something about how it creates melodies and words. It can make them very addicting. The other big music generation platform, Udio, it's good. It's technically good. It produces good music, correct sounding music, but it's missing that ad addictiveness, I guess is the word. Suno AI songs get stuck in my head and they go bananas with generating 1000 plus images, kill most, save the best. This is just our best. And this is kind of also my approach to generating certain visuals that I want. Very often it'll take many, many, many attempts, but it's often very possible to find either a specific look that you're going for or just something that you weren't going for, but it just really looks right to you once it's generated. And then they refine the prompts. You're going to need perfect prompts to stay consistent. This is where a lot of these models do have problems is the consistency, character consistency across the board. A lot of people have posted guides with various tricks and guides for how to create that consistency, but it's still definitely something that is not quite there yet. So I was very surprised to see how well this blinged out C-3PO was throughout all the scenes. And then research uh, the various effects you can use because you're going to want to hide some of the AI video weirdness. So it looks like this is eye candy where they have various uh, effects and styles. So there's uh, a lot going on here. So for example, this is double exposure. So kind of having two shots in one or two layers in one. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about it, but every single one of those things probably has a specific name. Like this thing you see in the movies, right? When sometimes it looks like that it's zooming in, but something's like sliding away in the background. I just recently learned this was called a dolly zoom. And then we have wardrobe, make dozens of outfits, try them out in all the scenes. So that's mid journey. Once again, storyboard, let AI build out a rough storyboard. This will change as you edit it. So don't stress about perfection. Catalyst.ai. Not familiar with this one, but it looks like it creates visual stories with consistent characters and scenes using generative AI. Very cool. We covered something that's maybe not similar, but maybe it has some of the same elements uh, that allows you to create comic books that can kind of be used as the same thing. But even there, the character consistency for me, it wasn't perfect, although people were generating comic books with very consistent characters. So maybe I just didn't give myself enough time to learn how to do it. So they did use some Photoshop to clean up some of the shots, which I certainly understand. I do Photoshop touch-ups here and there, mostly for color and whatnot. But this is, yeah, it would take probably hours to try to regenerate this in Midjourney and probably, you know, a few minutes in Photoshop. And then Runway, a lot of Runway. So Runway, we've showcased it on this channel, Runway ML, you know, probably the number one text to video AI generation platform that is until very recently, or at least, you know, if you're talking about only the released models, then it's probably still so far number one. Although there's one coming that might be significantly better. We'll come back to that in just a second. He's saying they often generate each shot five or more times to get what they want, then use AI to put together a first cut. So it Fable Motion, the modern creative studio. I'm not familiar with this software. Teams design, animate, and scale meaningful creative work. So they got rappers with British accents on Fiverr. Looks like he gives a shout out to those guys. And then we're training the models on those voices. So this is Resemble AI. It, again, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not familiar with because I don't do lyrics and vocals and animation and stuff like that. But obviously this person is someone that's uh, knows exactly what he's doing with every single one of these. And then we do a face swap for real humans. And the thing that he's linking here is uh, an SFW coin, which I'm not going to even look at that because I think I know what they're doing. They're saying, we do not encourage misuse of this technology. If I had to guess, I would guess that people do misuse that technology. If I had to guess, they have Italic Buterin on there. Jean-Luc Picard did not make it, which is very sad about that. 
he should have had a seat at that table. So here they're using Adobe Premiere Pro to cut something super tight from the original AI prototype, which I gotta say, the scenes with the tigers look really good. Next, we do the lip syncing. Different AI models work better for different shots. I've showcased this with Pika Labs, but I feel like here the job was much better done. It looks like maybe what they were using Sync Labs and DID maybe is just better for it or looks like there's a Sync Labs uh, watermark here. So that's something to try out. And then of course, reevaluate, redo, mid-journey, re-runway, re-edit, repeat. And here they are on Zoom putting it all together. And then of course, have a panic attack about Sora being released before you drop, which this is of course the AI video platform I was referencing earlier. That's the number one because Sora is very, very good. And when Sora is released, I don't know, maybe some of this won't be as dramatic. I mean, right now it's absolutely stunning. It's incredible. It's the latest cutting edge technology or application of that technology. After Sora, at least some of those things will get a lot easier, right? The video production will get a lot easier. And I think the character consistency will probably get a lot easier as well. But of course, Sora is probably going to be somewhat censored. So I doubt that they're going to be able to produce all the stuff that they did in this video. And then up-res footage with Topaz Labs. I've used Magnific quite a bit to up-res various uh, photos and still images. But this is interesting that you can do this for footage. Then explore cash money covers using Google. That's funny. Create title cards with Adobe Illustrator. Put in Star Trek stuff to make Star Wars fans happy. Star Trek. Oh, he had a little Federation pin. I did not realize that. They tried adding C-3PO lip sync, glowing mouth, decided last minute against it. And yeah, now that I think about it, going with someone whose lips don't move is a very smart idea. Then there are, of course, YouTube thumbnails, and then they post it. Meditate on if you should post outtakes or just let them die using Headspace, a meditation app. I hoped they achieved enlightenment and realized that, yes, of course, they should post outtakes. That would be incredible. Remember that you meant to make a meme coin. Forget that again, Coinbase. Yeah, I was wondering because it had definitely had a lot of crypto themes and, and a lot of references to crypto. So I guess if this was like middle of 2020, this thing would go nuts. And then spend every five minutes rechecking the Twitter view count, which is at 2 point something million now. So it's definitely still going up. So that's Eckler by design. Definitely give him a follow. I think this person is going to keep dropping incredible things and incredible tutorials. If you're into AI and arts, music, if you're interested in that kind of intersection, I mean, this is a brand new field that's just exploding in popularity. And it's so, so new that if you go back a year ago, some of these things looked horrible. And now, you know, we have stuff like this. Imagine what it's going to be a year from now, five years from now. I played a clip of this video to some of my subscribers earlier. Some people said they, they didn't like the music, which certainly that makes sense. We all have our different preferences, different ideas about what sounds good, what doesn't. But can you imagine something like this, but in your favorite style of music? Would you be interested in listening to something like that then? Could you see yourself, for example, making a gym playlist, you know, workout playlist with AI generated music? If you're somebody that's a creator, if you create music, or maybe you have the creativity, but not exactly the skills to produce it, to produce it yourself, would this make you more interested in producing music and videos, etc.? Anyways, I hope you enjoy that. Make sure you give Daniel Eckler a follow. I'm so happy he responded, told me it was cool to use it because I really wanted to showcase this and kind of talk about it and really looking to seeing more stuff from him. All the links will be in the description. I'll have a pinned comment with all the links as well. My name is Wes Roth and remember, Droid Life. Thank you for watching.